Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nicholas Stebbing. I belong to the Community of the Resurrection at Murfield. And if you want to find out more about us, you will find we have a website. Just put in Community of the, Community of the Resurrection Murfield and you will get somewhere. Today I want to talk about problems of prayer. And so I begin by asking, do you have problems with prayer? Do you find it hard to pray? Do you feel sometimes that nothing is happening? If so, join the club. That's what I feel most of the time. That's what most people feel when they try to pray seriously. It is very confusing. What should be easier than talking to God? What could be nicer? But in fact we find that our time of prayer drags. We are distracted. We think about other things. We have no sense that God is there. We can't think of anything to say. And so it goes on. What's gone wrong? Well, I can't deal with all the problems of prayer in one short talk, so I'm going to focus on just two problems, which I think are very common at the moment. The first is that we are overstimulated. Young people especially are overstimulated. There is too much going on. We are constantly at our phones, our laptops or our iPads. We are constantly looking for entertainment. We want stimulation. We want exciting things to happen. And if they don't happen in front of us, we look to our devices. None of that is bad in itself. We need this technology. It's often very useful. But we get addicted. We can't stop. We keep looking for more. So when we do try to pray, we are like a drug addict who can think of nothing but finding another fix. When we try to pray or read scripture, our minds are whizzing away looking for excitement. They won't calm down. We spend the whole time of prayer just trying to calm down and be still. Well, that's fine. Psalm 46 tells us, be still and know that I am God. That is prayer. If you can spend 10 minutes just trying to be still, trying to know that God is God, you have prayed and you have prayed well. Our lives today are so full of words and images and noises that our prayer needs to be different. Few words, few images, no noise, just silence and space. And God is there. Of course it will help if you also try to limit the amount of noise and IT stuff that you have during the day. Don't be frightened of doing nothing. On a bus or a train, just look out of the window. Don't spend your time anxiously scrolling through Facebook. Don't have your phone on during meals. Turn your computer off at night. I turn mine off before nine o'clock so that I can go to bed at 10. All these little disciplines will make life better, not worse. You will be calmer, less anxious. And remember the psalm, be still and know that I am God. That is prayer. The second problem may be found in these remarks we clergy often hear. Someone will say, 
I used to go to church, but I got nothing from it. Or, I tried praying, but I found it boring. These remarks reflect a problem of our age. We have all learned to expect that life should be constantly fun. Life must be exciting. I must be happy. My job must be interesting. People must be nice to me. Everything like buses, trains, shops and, of course, computers must work properly so that I am not annoyed. Now, there's nothing wrong with having fun and enjoying ourselves, and it's good to hope that things will work properly. But the trouble with all this is that it's centred on me. I must have a good time. It doesn't matter about others. So, if I pray, I must enjoy it. I must feel good after it. If I go to church, I must be constantly fascinated and come away feeling really great. If I don't, I stop. Now, there are two problems with that. The first is that it's unrealistic. We know that about life. Life is often boring, hard work, and things go wrong. When that happens, we just get on with it until things change. The second deeper problem is that it is self-centred, and prayer is not self-centred. It is God-centred. Prayer is about God not about us. We worship God because he is our creator, because he is wonderful. We try to love God because we know he loves us. He created us, and so we thank him for giving us life in such a beautiful world. We pray to him because that is something we should do. God doesn't need us. To pray to him. He doesn't need us to praise him. We need it. It makes us better. Have you ever seen a field of sunflowers? They all have their faces turned towards the sun. As the sun moves across the sky, they move. If they don't, they grow weak. So we too need to look at God and see how wonderful he is. If we do that properly, we probably will enjoy it. But if we do it simply because it's fun, then we will quickly get bored. If we go to church simply to sing happy hymns, we will soon get bored. But if we go to worship God, we will find the hymns take on new meaning, and even sad hymns can be lovely. We need to look at God, not at ourselves. That is very difficult for us in our modern age. We mustn't expect to learn to change our focus in an instant. It's a long learning process, but it's worth it. I shall talk about ways we can help this process along in later talks. For the moment, just remember, be still and know that I am God.